Yo, what is up guys? Stellboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. If you're new here, if you could smash that subscribe button, and also if you guys could smash the like, it really helps me out. Anyway, another one of my fantasy fight videos. Today we're going to be talking about Carl Frosch versus Joe Calzaghe. Joe Calzaghe, of course, held all of the belts at super middleweight. He was never an undisputed champion because he never held all of the belts simultaneously, but he held all of the belts at super middleweight at one time or another, and also Joe Calzaghe went up to become a lineal light heavyweight champion, and of course Carl Frosch was a three-time super middleweight champion, I believe. So both of these guys are two of the most recognisable super middleweights of all time. If you ask people to compile a top 10 ranking of all of the best super middleweights of all time, chances are both of these guys will be on that list. In fact, many people say Joe Calzaghe is the best super middleweight of all time, which I don't disagree with. Anyway, Joe Calzaghe versus Kyle Frotch. Who wins this fight? First and foremost, when I hear people talking about this fight, a lot of people tend to believe Joe Calzaghe completely schools. Carl Frosch and wins basically an easy decision. I've got to say, I don't see it that way. I do believe Carl Frosch would be competitive in this fight in spots. You know, Joe Calzaghe in his career, he had a few rocky moments. You know, he was dropped by Roy Jones. He was dropped by Bernard Hopkins. I think he was dropped by Byron Mitchell. And also, off the top of my head, Kaberi Salem. So Joe Calzaghe, you know, he could get involved in tear-ups and he could find the canvas. But the thing about Joe Calzaghe, of course, his chin was good, but his recovery was always better. When that guy got dropped every single time, he came back to really throw a lot of punches and he tried to force the fight on his opponent. He wasn't trying to survive, he would fire right back. So Joe Calzaghe always showed great recovery skills and he also showed a pretty good chin throughout his career, and against a guy like Carl Frosch, that will be important, let's be honest, Carl Frosch, a, a strong guy at the weight, and a guy who carried, you know, decent power in that right hand, I think early on this fight would be competitive, in all honesty, a lot of the times when Joe Calzaghe did get dropped, he got dropped early on, in fact, all of the times he got dropped, he got dropped early on, so I think Roy Jones, he got dropped in the first round, Hopkins, I think that was also the first round, Byron Mitchell, I believe that was the second round, and I think Kaberi Salem was also fairly early on in the fight. So it really wouldn't surprise me if Carl Frotch got off to a decent start. Maybe he catches Joe Calzaghe with a right hand, which puts Calzaghe on the canvas. And I could see Carl Frotch starting this fight pretty well. You know, Joe Calzaghe, like I say, he did have a habit of you know, kind of getting involved sometimes in tear-ups. He always came out on top, but, you know, at times he did get caught and he got dropped. So maybe early on in this hypothetical fight, Carl Frotch could actually catch him and he could put Calzaghe on the canvas. I certainly believe Frotch would be competitive early on, but the thing with Calzaghe, the man set a frantic pace for any super middleweight. Joe Calzaghe's punch output was crazy. There were many times when this guy would throw 100 plus punches per round in multiple fights. Calzaghe's punch output was crazy, his hand speed was crazy, and his stamina was absolutely incredible. And Kyle Frotch is a guy who traditionally likes to really make it a war, a war of attrition. And can he win that type of fight against Joe Calzaghe? I think it's very unlikely, I've got to say. Yes, Frotch could punch... Yes, he had the chin, he was, he was very tough, he would trade with you. I'm sure he would have success in this fight, particularly early on. But I just don't see Carl Frosch living with Joe Calzaghe round after round after round in a 12-round fight. You know, Frosch was a guy who, you know, he had, a, he had a decent work rate, but he wasn't the guy who was throwing a million punches per round. He liked to take a few breathers, etc., and against, you know, somebody like Joe Calzaghe, who does throw a million punches per round with blaring hand speed, I think that's a recipe for disaster in regards to winning rounds. I really do. And as for the speed of Joe Calzaghe, arguably one of the quickest super middleweights of all time, 
his hand speed was exceptional, as was his foot speed, and, you know, traditionally, Carl Froch has struggled with that style, or with that type of speed, I should say. You know, for example, the Andre Durrell fight, which, in my opinion, he was very fortunate to win. The Jermaine Taylor fight, even to a lesser extent, the George Groves fight, Carl Froch could struggle against speed, and none of these guys were as quick as Joe Calzaghe, and none of these guys had the punch output, the punch volume of Joe Calzaghe. You know, Joe Calzaghe could throw pretty much any punch in the book, and he could also attack at insane angles. Joe Calzaghe had a real off-key punch technique, and he could throw shots at weird angles, and it really caught a lot of his opponents by surprise. You know, there was this um, kind of belief that Joe Calzaghe had no power, but actually he scored quite a few knockouts. Ask Jeff Lacey how hard Joe Calzaghe hits. The guy hits pretty hard, and on top of that, he's hitting you with shots that you don't see coming on a regular occurrence. Ultimately, I think it would take a very dynamic fighter to beat somebody like Joe Calzaghe at his best. I don't personally believe Carl Froch is that fighter. I think he's a little too rudimentary, a little too predictable. Of course, he'll give it a go. He'll win a few rounds maybe early on, potentially even dropping Joe Calzaghe. You know, lesser fighters have dropped Joe Calzaghe than Carl Froch. So Carl Froch would have success, but in a 12-round fight, I just don't see this guy doing enough. In all honesty, I really don't. I don't see him dealing with the speed, the work rate of Joe Calzaghe, you know? Like I say, ultimately, I believe it would take much more of a dynamic fighter to beat Joe Calzaghe than Carl Froch. Maybe Carl Froch could catch him cold, catch him with a big right hand, but, you know, Joe Calzaghe always gets up, so Carl Froch knocking out Joe Calzaghe, to me, is fairly unlikely. Who knows, it could happen, but I've got to say, if these guys fought, I would certainly favour Joe Calzaghe. I, cer I don't believe Joe Calzaghe would stop Carl Froch, in all honesty. I think Carl Froch is too tough. But ultimately, I believe Joe Calzaghe would win this hypothetical fight. You know, maybe nine rounds to three, at a push, eight rounds to four. Potentially, Carl Froch could get a knockdown, but I just don't see him doing enough over 12 rounds. Interestingly, you know, at one point, Carl Froch was actually chasing this fight in real life. That was towards the end of Joe Calzaghe's career. I want to say that was between, like, 2006 to 2008. Along those sort of timelines... I believe at the time Carl Froch was the WBC mandatory for the super middleweight title. Maybe I'm wrong there. It's been a long time. But Carl Froch was chasing that fight towards the end of Calzaghe's career. But of course Calzaghe was chasing fights with the likes of Bernard Hopkins and Roy Jones, which is perfectly acceptable. At that time, Carl Froch was basically just a domestic fighter. That's what he was. So the fight never happened. Which is a shame, to be honest, but, you know, it is what it is. But if these guys hypothetically fought, I would favour Joe Calzaghe by a clear, unanimous decision. I just believe Calzaghe has too much for Carl Froch. Anyway, share your thoughts below. What do you think of these fantasy fight videos? I did a fantasy fight video a couple of weeks ago. I think that was between Golovkin and Carl Froch. So we've done a couple of Carl Froch fantasy fights and in both times, he's lost these fights. So there we go. I actually like Carl Froch, so nothing against Froch. Anyway, share your thoughts below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.